Oh hey, welcome to our bus. My name's Chad. This is Love Always Adventure Often. And this video is my five reasons why building a schoolie might not be for you. You see, schoolies are getting much more popular, which I think is awesome. I think it's cool that people are grabbing a lifestyle that they think they want and designing their lives to be something different than the norm. However, it scares me just a little bit because there's a lot of people that are jumping in. I'm members of Facebook groups and uh, forums and all of that kind of stuff. There's a ton of people jumping into schoolie life without fully understanding what they're getting themselves into. So I wanted to put this video together to help you decide whether or not schoolie build out is right for you. Here we go. Okay, knowledge, experience, and skills. This is huge. Obviously, I have never built a schoolie before, but I have an extensive history in construction. So you may be thinking in your mind right now, but Chad, there's YouTube, there's Udemy, there's all these online resources that are helpful and that I can learn from through the process. This is very true. I would be lying if I said that I hadn't pulled up YouTube at least a million times in this build process so far. However, you have to be very careful because any Joe Schmo can just put together a video and throw it on YouTube. Who knows what their knowledge base is, or their experience, or who they are. Um, that, but not me, I actually know what I'm talking about. These resources, seriously, are no substitute for experience and skill and knowledge that you already have obtained over the years. Moving on! So let's talk about the moolah, the green stuff, the stash. A lot of people are touting these incredibly cheap build outs for their buses. I've seen people talk about building out a full size bus for like $7,500, including the cost of the bus. I mean, they may have done it, but what scares the crap out of me is that a lot of these people are planning on living in these buses and some of them with kids. I can guarantee you that they don't have the best stuff in that bus. They probably didn't do it right. They cut a lot of corners. They found old wiring from a burnt down house and put it in the, I'm not kidding. I have seen these stories. Building a bus is not cheap. It is amazing and it's fun and the benefits outweigh the cost in my opinion because you can build it exactly the way you want it. But I'm sitting next to a $6,000 solar system right now. We've made sure we had all the right parts. This stuff is not cheap. All right, I don't know if you've noticed, but school buses are really big and they're really yellow. And you need a place to be able to park the bus long-term while you do the conversion. I can't tell you how many posts I've seen on Facebook in these groups where people say, okay, I bought my bus, now I need somewhere to park it. Can somebody help me? People don't, don't do that, because guess what? Cities don't like them. Landlords don't like them, and neighbors don't like them. Converting a school bus is loud, it's dusty, and it takes a long time. So make sure you have somewhere to park it before you buy your bus. I'm telling you right now, things will go wrong. Yes, I know, we want to pretend like everything is going to go exactly to plan, and that we'll be jumping rainbows and riding unicorns in our school buses, I know, I have the same thoughts, but guess what? It's just not true. You're gonna run into snags. There's gonna be things that come up while you're building it. There's gonna be things mechanically with the bus that you're gonna have to deal with. Things will go wrong. If you're not an incredibly patient person and just along for the experience, building a school bus into a tiny home is not for you. And if you expect them not to go wrong, and they do, it makes you even more impatient. Let's talk about desperation for a second. It's super sad, it makes my heart ache when people are in such a desperate situation that they're losing their, their, maybe they're losing their housing, they don't have money, they don't have family to stay with. I don't know the situations, but I see so many people jumping into schooly life out of desperation. 
They don't have anywhere to live. They have no money. And they think, you know, if I can just scrape up enough money to buy a bus, then I can live in it and that it will fix their issues. And I'm just saying that's probably not the best solution. Buses, as I've said before, they take a long time to build out. They're more expensive than you think they are. And you need resources. You need people and tools and materials. So please, 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 if you're considering jumping into schooly life out of desperation because of money, housing, or something like that, please consider some other options. I don't know your situation. I'm not making any judgment. Believe me, I feel for you. But I just don't recommend jumping into a schoolie because you're desperate. So here's the deal. I know I promised you a bonus at the end of the video. And this is it. Me sitting on a toilet. Just kidding, that's not the bonus. The bonus reason that building a schoolie might not be for you is if you just saw a couple of beautiful, happy German people doing it on Netflix. Am I right? Anyway, those are my five reasons building a schoolie might not be for you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been fun to make. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, share it with the people that you think will enjoy it. And uh, I apologize for my terrible jokes and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to love always, adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.